Plus, it's Elle, and welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna talk about a concealer that is brand new, hot off the press, and it is this one. So if you wanna know more about that, hit the subscribe button, share this video so someone think you might like it, and let's do it. All right, you guys, as you can tell, my little kitty right here is in the background. We are still in the hotel, yay! Um, but I wanted to do a review of the Lawless Concealer. Now, now this is gonna be a first impression because I literally just got it in the mail and could not wait to try it, okay? So the thing with this is, I just got off the phone with Sephora, and now I'm kind of second guessing this video, um, so maybe I'll do a follow up with this, but look, it is completely, it's completely dried up. Like, literally, it's dry. It looks nothing like it does on the picture. It's super, super dry. Can I show you what it looks like in the bottle? I mean, so I'm, so what I'm thinking is happening is that there's a bad batch going around. I went on the Sephora website and this seems to be a consensus with this concealer. So I'm kind of, so I'm kind of bummed for the brand. Um, obviously something must have happened or it's supposed to be like this. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to give it a good go because I could still put it on my hand. It is supposed to be matte, semi-matte finish, so it doesn't need for you to set this with anything. Um, but I'm going to read you a little bit about this concealer. This is a non-comedogenic, silicone-free. This is why I wanted to try this um, this concealer. I mean, not to mention that Lawless has a very good standard in being um, non-toxic and, of course, cruelty-free. It is a whipped concealer, so that's also what I think might have happened with the formula is the whipped consistency maybe dried out too quickly. Um, it does provide full coverage, and it can be used to conceal, highlight, contour, or, uh, you know, etch out the face, as well as concealer. It says, though, that it's perfect for normal, dry, combination, oily skin types. That is left to be seen, to be honest with you. It has shea butter, sunflower seed oil, which is my favorite, you know, and rice bran extract, which has a lot of vitamin E and fatty acids. Um, and this product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, as well as it has um, the clean seal at Sephora. So we know that it has a lot of formulations without the kind of top several nasty ingredients. So sorry if you guys hear him, but he is here and to talk to us. <laughs> All right, so I have foundation on right now, and I did not put purposely anything under my eyes. I have really bad allergies today. Um, I have really bad allergies today, and I wanna see how this concealer works. I am in the color cream, and again, I put it on my hand and kind of played with it this way. What it says on the website is to put it right where your darkness is, so I'm gonna put it right here, and just a little bit right here. Yeah, it is super dry. I think the formula just actually ended up being too matte, to be honest, and it just dried up. Uh, but they are sending me another one. So I'm going to take this sponge and I'm going to go right in here. You can use your finger. It does say that it's full coverage, guys. So you want to be really, you want to be really strategic on how you apply a full coverage concealer. You don't want to apply this as you would with others where you just kind of slap this on. Um, I really gravitated towards this because of the fact that it was a little bit more matte and so I wouldn't have to set this. Uh, obviously the non-toxicity of this product, full coverage, all of that good stuff. And here we are with this first layer. Okay, so this is the difference between the two eyes. I'll get up real close. And again, I'm not gonna set this. So I think it's done a pretty good job. Um, you know, it just, I'm hoping that it's just the consistency of this formula. Uh, maybe that, that like I said, is a bad batch, but if you can see, it's a little bit drying right here. So let me just get a closer look here. Yeah, I think what's happening, I'm really hoping that this was just a bad batch because right here, it's it needs a lot of love to blend this out, to be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to do kind of what they said where you can highlight with this product. So I'm just gonna use it almost like a matte uh, highlighter, so like this. And I'm using it with a sponge because I'm trying to give it a little bit more moisture. This is a really good color for me, by the way, so if you are a little bit of a similar skin tone to me, uh, cream is a good match. You definitely can build this up for sure. 
and it's working pretty well with the sponge. I really am enjoying the color. All right, and I will do a little bit of a wear test, so I'll come back in in a few hours so you guys can see the difference and see how it's worn. We'll do like a little concealer Thursday. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's the difference between the two eyes. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like drying to the skin. It doesn't feel like that. I've also prepped my skin with a nice eye cream, but I definitely would not set this with powder, guys. It will be way too dry. All right, so that worked. It actually works pretty nicely. I just, you have to be really careful about concealer in general sitting into fine lines. So please use this a little bit more sparingly because it is full coverage. Um, but I'm gonna use it a little bit more just to cover up a little bit more of this darkness. It needs, and again, I'm hoping that it's just this formulation because it's a wrong formula or something like that. It definitely needs some help blending out because it is so dry. So if you guys want me to do a follow-up to this, comment below and I'll let you know if the, when the next batch comes in how much different it was than this current one. All right, so everything is on pretty simple makeup, obviously. Um, I didn't want to do anything to the eyes because I didn't want to disturb this at all because we're going to give it a couple hours of wear test. So the, my only impression is, is you really need to make sure that you moisturize that under eye. And of course I do. I use an eye serum first and then an eye cream because um, it is it is quite drying. Um, again, I don't know if this is because of the misstep in formulation, but it does say that the formulation is matte. So for a mature under eye, I just don't know if it would be something that really works great for that dry under eye. Um, but if you prep it appropriately, it absolutely would because you don't also need to set this. So it's going to glide over fine lines a little bit more. It is full coverage, so it will give you more coverage with the less amount of product needing to be used, which is great. Um, so definitely a, a plus. Now on the, uh, you know, on the con side, obviously, is the formulation and the price point is a pretty darn high. Uh, but yeah. I, I, concealers last you a really long time and this one does a beautiful job you know doing other things as other concealers do but this one's formulation is kind of special I think um, with really being able to transform itself to be able to be used all over the face because it is so it's like a very thin thin consistency but yet it gives you some pretty good coverage what I call this full coverage I would not call this full full coverage like a full coverage of a foundation um, I would call this high medium coverage um, it definitely has covered up dark spots but I feel like you would still need to use a color corrector first if you have dark under eyes um, and then this concealer afterwards and that would be a good combination all right so I'll see you guys in a few hours bye all right, loves, here we are. It is three hours later, and this lipstick, by the way, check in the description box, it's bomb. It has stayed on forever and uh, super green and clean. Anyway, so here's what we look like under the eyes. What do you guys think? I don't know. To me, it doesn't look like it's wearing very well. I'm kind of bummed about it, but I'll let you see up close. I don't know, I feel like the darkness is starting to come through. So, I'm looking forward to trying the new one, the new formula. I'm going to see if it's any better. Um, but this one, I just don't know if I'd repurchase. I think all the way Maybelline Instant Age Rewind is better. Um, but again, it's not as clean. Marc Jacobs is better, but it's not as clean. Um, and they're both not cruelty free. So um, I'm hoping that this formulation is just the problem. And I, when I get my new one, it's going to be fantastic. And it's going to be a whole world of difference. So let me know again, if you'd like an update on this. And let me know if you've tried this. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.